everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I'm here with my sweet treats. And I am doing a combo of both um, July and August, because I didn't get anything out to you at the end of July. It's actually September now, early September, and the fall rain is beating on my window, so you might hear that outside the window. But I do have quite a few things to share with you from all different areas, not just makeup. So let's get right on into it. Um, first thing I want to share, uh, if you have been watching my videos, you've been seeing this in pretty much every video. It's the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray. Every time some kind of a new gimmick comes out, like I remember when primers first became big, I was kind of skeptical, like, do I really need a primer if I'm already putting moisturizer and foundation on? Uh, and, you know, after kind of buzzing around trying different primers I realized yeah a primer does help and I will say the same for this makeup setting spray this is the first one that I've really gotten into other than trying just with my MAC Fix Plus a few times which I didn't think really did all that much but I do find the Makeup Forever Mixed and Fix is keeping my makeup in place through this summer humidity uh, that was happening in July and August. So I'm kind of down to the bottom of that, and I have Kat Von D's that I'm gonna try next. But in the meantime, I definitely would recommend this Makeup Forever. Also in the summer, well, all year round, I like to highlight my face. But if I'm going out at night, I like my highlight to be all like glittery, crazy. But if I'm in at work in the day, I work in an office, I, you know, I can't be walking around with like frosted flakes on the top of my, cheekbones so I need a highlighter that's gonna give me a little bit of youth and glow to my face but not make me look like a snowman necessarily and I have found that and I can thank um, Emily Noel 83 the beauty broadcast of course Emily Eddington for recommending this product this is the Lorac and uh, yeah for years I called it Lorac but again, thanks to Emily, I find that the, the correct pronunciation is Lorac. Lorac Perfectly Lit Highlighter Powder, and this is in the color Spotlight. And it's just a really soft shimmer. See, it's kind of champagne colored. And I'm wearing it right now on my face. It gives you a highlight, but it doesn't make you look like Frosted Flakes. So I've been loving that. I have to admit, I have probably... I don't know, 50 highlighters, and I've been wearing this exclusively for the last two months, every single day. So I highly recommend. I'm sad at this next one. I'm sad that I'm showing you this because look at the date on this mascara, September 1st. As my regular watches would know, I always put a sticker on my mascaras reminding me of when it's time to toss it in the garbage. And that time has passed with this. I've only held on to it so that I could share it with you in this video. This is the Stila Forever Your Curl Mascara. And I'll show you what the brush looks like. See, it's a nice tiny little brush. Not like super tiny like Lash Discovery, but pretty small. And I'll tell you the thing with this, which, which is what's making me kind of sad about it. It is one of those mascaras that when you first open it, when it's fresh, it's too wet. And you can't really get good build on the lashes. So I was kind of like, eh, it's all right, but I don't really like it that much. And I always have like a high-end and a drugstore mascara that I'm using at the same time. So I switched over to the drugstore mascara that I was using. And I guess I was about three weeks into the three-month period when I pulled this out again and it had dried off just enough uh, that it became a fantastic mascara. And I have, like right now I'm wearing false lashes, but when I don't have false lashes, I have very sparse, thin eyelashes. They are not like Makeup by Tiffany D kind of eyelashes. We all covet her lashes, I know. So this really, three coats, I could build quite a serious lash. So a Stila Forever Your Curl, absolutely loved it in July and August, but now it has expired and I have to throw it out. Because the first time you get pink eye or an eye infection, you'll understand you shouldn't cheap out and keep your mascaras past the three month mark. The next item got me all through the summer. If you, again, if you were watching my videos, you've seen it. It's the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in the color Tahitian Glow. If you watched my last video, you also know that I dropped it. It was a big dome of product, which I paid a fortune for on QVC, and I dropped it and broke it, but I was able to still use 
what's left in the bottom. You can see I'm hitting pan here in the middle, but look at the color that this gives you. It's just a really nice, it's not orangey, and it's not too sparkly. It's just a beautiful tan glow. And if, like me, you're a bit cockeyed when you're trying to do your self-tanner, and I end up looking like a striped bass, I can fill in the spots that I've missed with this product. But what I've done for the last two months is this gorgeous brush here, my Urban Decay uh, Buddha brush. I think it's called the Big Buddha. I've just been, you know, getting that on there and just putting a nice glow on my shoulders and chest. Now that we're coming into the fall, I'll be moving on to other body highlighters. But next summer, I'll be ordering this again for sure. Next, I want to share a lip product. I have humongous lips, as you can see, and they get dry all the time. So I have strategically um, lip products, lip balms, like I, I mean non-lipstick lip products, everywhere. I always have one in my purse. I have one on my nightstand uh, for through the night and before bed. I have one in the bathroom for right after I get out of the shower because my lips instantly feel dry and I want to get something on them. I have one here in my makeup room which I put on to sit on my lips to moisturize before um, I get around to putting my lipstick on. The one that I want to share with you right now I've been using for the last two months in the bathroom. So this would be when I get out of the shower um, right after I brush my teeth at night before bed. Uh, I am loving Lip Fusion. Yeah, it's just the Lip Fusion Lip Balm. And I have a few products by them. I have a blush, a cream blush by Lip Fusion. It opens just like the fresh lemon lip balm, so you have to screw it off. It comes in tinted colors, but this one, because as I said, it's for in the bathroom, is just in a clear uh, form and that's exactly what it's called is clear very emollient and what I like about it is I can put it on after I've brushed my teeth at night in the bathroom go to bed and when I wake up at 3 or 4 in the morning uh, I see that my lips are still nice and moisturized I don't have to reapply kind of pricey though this is I think around 25 bucks so it's kinda not the one you wanna throw in your beach bag and you know risk having it melt uh, moving on now, I want to share two hair products with you this month, and I don't know if you've noticed, I've gotten bangs uh, in the last few months. I have bangs. I've had bangs all my life. My hair has been short and long in my life, but I've always had bangs. And then about six or seven years ago, I grew my bangs out because everybody was giving me a hard time about my bangs. And every time I saw somebody with bangs, I was like, I love those bangs. So finally my wife said, you know what? Just cut your friggin' bangs back in. They're your, it's your hair. So that's what I've done. So I hope you like it. But if you don't, I don't care. I'm still keeping them. I love them. Um, the hair product I want to share with you first is this beautiful shampoo from Lush. Lush, of course, has these great solid shampoos. It comes in this little tin so that it keeps it safe in your shower. I wish that you had a sniff, a scratch and sniff screen. I wish that I could just like hold this up and you could like scratch it and smell how amazing it smells. It smells like, it smells like the rain outside right now. It smells like the trees that are wet right here to the right of me. And it smells just a little bit like my dad's aftershave from when I was a little kid. That's the best way I can kind of put that all in. So this particular solid shampoo, they have about seven or eight of them. This one is called Squeaky Green. So it's a little play on the whole notion of squeaky clean. Um, and it is designed for oily hair. Now my hair is super long and on the ends it can be dry, but I do have an oily scalp. I don't use this every time I shampoo. shampoo. I use it every second time. It lasts forever. It only costs, I'm just looking at my uh, computer here, it's $10.95 for a bar like this and it will last for such a long time because you just get the bar wet and then you rub it on your hair and it really works up quite a lather although you do get these little bits in your hair but it rinses out with your conditioner and this particular one is packed full of rosemary nettle and peppermint so just a really nice it really wakes you up in the shower in the morning and again I keep mine in the tin so it'll last longer in my shower from Lush the conditioner I've been using with that all summer, first of all, can you guess why I bought it? Because it's a massive pink bottle that says Bedhead, and I absolutely loved it. And then I saw that it was called Superstar. How am I not going to have a pink bottle of conditioner called Superstar? It is TG's uh, Bedhead 
conditioner for thick massive hair and that's exactly what it does it gives me enough moisture I'm not left looking like a witch's nest but it it's it doesn't weigh my hair down I have a lot of hair but my hair is super duper fine and if I wear too heavy of a conditioner it will like stick to my head I will look like a drowned rat I'll look like an oil slick this conditioner is nice and moisturizing, but keeps keeps a lot of body in my hair, nice and fluffy. I'm not saying that it makes it massive, because I don't think I could ever have massive hair, because uh, that's just not how my hair rolls. But it is a wonderful conditioner for people with fine hair, and I'm really enjoying it. And I got that at Winners. I was just flipping through Winners, and it was on sale, I think, for like, I don't know, 1999 which is way cheap for uh, 750 mils. Of conditioner as you can see I've been using it for months and look I'm only here so good deal uh, foot cream is the next thing I want to talk to you about I have been wearing since I was about 20 uh, the body shops peppermint foot cream it's a cult classic it was one of their original products it was the thing I talked about in my interview to work at the body shop when I was 20 that was my first job when I moved here to Halifax and I still uh, have romantic memories of that because I really loved working there. As I'm aging however my heels get pretty rough I get regular you know pedicures and I have like heavy duty creams that I wear at night like the Gaval cracked heel cream and things like that but during the day you know you're putting your sandals on and going out you can't have this big thick um, you know slimy cream on your feet but at the same time my peppermint foot lotion wasn't giving me quite enough moisture but I absolutely love the smell of the peppermint and the feel that the mentholatum you know gives to my legs and ankles well body shop solved my problem they came out with their peppermint foot cream except they've created it in an intensive foot rescue so instead of a lotion this is a heavy duty pink cream with that same beautiful signature smell and it still gives your feet that um, kind of like fresh breath feeling it's the only way I can explain it and loving it it has kept my heels nice and soft throughout the summer but not so slippery that I'm sliding out of my sandals uh, these are two kind of odd things that I'm sharing but I wanted to share them anyway these little bottles in Canada we have a drugstore, Shoppers Drug Mart, and Quo, see the name here on the bottom, Quo is the uh, Shoppers Drug Mart brand for, you know, Q-tips, uh, their Quo lashes, Quo sponges, all those kinds of things. I was looking for a few little bottles and found these in the travel section at Shoppers Drug Mart. They're, they were Quo empty bottles. One is a pump and one is a spray and I'll tell you this has come in handy for a gazillion things I when I do my makeup I put my foundation and all kinds of stuff on these um, palettes these metal palettes and I don't want to take those palettes to uh, the bathroom and wash them every time that I use them because it's a pain so I have filled this little squirt bottle with alcohol just 99% isopropyl alcohol and I use it when I'm done with my palette I'll spray it with the alcohol and wipe it down with a Kleenex and I have found that it's coming in handy for all kinds of things my tweezers I spray the end of it with the alcohol and I'm good to go and then with this little one what I put in here is Burt's Bees luminous body lotion which I'm wearing on my hands right now and I don't know if you can tell that it it does leave a nice luminosity and so this is small enough that I can take it on the airplane with me, both of these products. But also, when I shoot my television show, my dressing room, my makeup room, is always on camera. But we, we are not allowed to have any products visible, so I can't have product names visible. So this allows me to have my Burt's Bees lotion and my Shoppers Drug Mart alcohol sitting on my counter, but with no brands visible. So I just really like these and I paid two or three bucks for them and I've been using them now for almost a year and uh, just realized that I didn't ever include them in a favorite so I thought I'd make them part of my sweet treats. And that brings us to my last thing that I want to share with you. I am a Hello Kitty freakazoid and um, you know I'm not so like I've seen that picture online of somebody who's living in a Hello Kitty house. 
I'm not that crazy, but I do love Hello Kitty. And I have a lot of the Hello Kitty uh, makeup line from Sephora. And I've told you in previous videos that Elle and Blair Fowler are the only cell phone covers that I own. But I have now added one other cell phone cover, um, which is also from Solaris, which is where Ellen Blair's are. But this one is Hello Kitty. And look at it. Instead of the tiny little rhinestones, it, big, massive rhinestones. And then look at the little cute little flower. Oh, I can barely stand it. It is so cute. Look, and she's wearing a little, like a little kimono. Anyway, I'm just, and then along the side, oops, along the side it says Hello Kitty. So, that's my favorite right now. Oops, I've been rocking that nonstop, just loving it. Being teased for how shiny and glimmery my phone is. But I don't care, because I love Kitty, and I'm not shy to say it. So there you have it. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and that maybe you saw a few products that you might want to try um, as we roll into fall. Sorry that I missed July. I'll try to get on that better in the future, but when I do miss a month, I'll just do what I did today, which is combine two months worth of candy sweet treats, the products that I'm kind of really digging and loving over the past couple months. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please be safe out there. Wear a condom every time and don't drink and drive. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.